Hello students, welcome to Sorosur's classes. Today we are going to do a few more numericals. Okay. So take out your notebooks, get ready. Okay, because these numericals are going to be easy to do but very important. Okay. So the first thing that is given to us as A is equal to 4 root 2. Alright. And the second part is given as 2a is equal to root over of 4b. Right. So 2a can be written as 2 root b. Right. Cancel the 2 out. From here, what are we getting? We are getting a is equal to root over of b. That means I can put the value of a here. So that implies a is 4 root 2 is equal to root over b in order to find the value of b we have to square both sides square both sides okay so let us square both sides that is 4 root 2 whole square is root b whole square that is 4 for the 16 16 2 is a 32 is equal to b so that's your final answer students and that is in option number c okay very very nice question question number one is over let's move on to question number two again another beautiful question okay so let's solve this question is given to us that a to the power x square ma uh, divide by let's put the divide sign like this since i have already made it oh let's rub that off okay just hold on divide by a to the power y square is equal to a to the power 54 so that is a to the power x square minus y square put it in bracket is equal to a to the power 54 so that implies all of you all know indices x square minus y square is equal to 54 correct okay now what does this what does this mean x square minus y square it means x plus y x minus y is equal to 54 now mind you x minus y is given to us here here is x minus y correct is equal to 6 so let's write x minus y so x plus y into 6 is equal to 54 6 nines are so just hold on x plus y is equal to 9 all right so that is our final answer and uh, that is in option number b okay moving on to our third question that is your third question and uh, please concentrate on the third question the third question is an easy one which of the following is equal to 2 by 5 look at this let's find this one this is b to the power 2 by 5 whole to the power 1 by 2 so this and this got cancelled that is b to the power 1 by 5 so that's not the correct option let's check this this will be b to the power 5 by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 so that is equal to b to the power 5 by 4 all right that is also not the one this one let's see b to the power 5 whole to the power 1 by 2 that 2 is given don't don't think that's a square that's a 1 by 2 so b to the power 5 by 2 all right so that is also not the correct one hence the option correct option is d okay there is no need to check even all right so there you go that's the third question let's move on to our fourth question so what is the fourth question students fourth question says root over of m plus 3 minus n is equal to 0 then find the value of m when n is 6 okay so given as root over of m plus 3 minus n is equal to 0 that means root over of m plus 3 minus 6 is equal to 0 so root over of m plus 3 is equal to 6 now you square both sides squaring both sides 
So after squaring both sides, what do we get? We get here as m plus 3 and here you are going to get as 36. So eventually what your answer is going to be? Very simple to find out, m is going to be 33. Correct? Why 36 minus 3? m is going to be 33. So option D is the correct one. Okay. Let's move on to our fifth question. Fifth question says, which of the following is equal to this? All right. Which of the following is equal to three, uh, 25 to the power 3 by 4? Let's check this. This is 25 to the power 1 by 3. Right? So that's not it. Now let's check this. This is 5 to the power 1 by 2 plus 1. Right? So that is 5 to the power 3 by 2. Let's check this. 5 to the power 1 by 4. And let's check this. This is 5 to the power 1 by 2. So which is the correct answer? We need to solve that. Okay? We need to solve this then to find out the correct answer. Look. So that is 5 to the power 2 whole to the power 3 by 4. Okay. So that is coming as 5 to the power 5 to the power 3 by 2. See? 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. 5 to the power 3 by 2 and you know which is the answer. That is option number B. Okay. So that's your answer. Final answer. Let's move on to a next question. It says find the value of x so the sixth question is on the screen and it says if root x plus root 16 is equal to root 25 then find the value of x so look at this question it is root x right root over of x plus root over of 16 root over of 16 just hold on is equal to root over of 25 all right so root over of x is equal to root over of 25 minus root over of 16 now what do you do you again square both sides okay square both sides so when you square both sides you're going to get here as root over of x whole square that will be root over of 16 minus sorry root over of 25 first minus root over of 16 whole square okay after we have got this it's very simple to do from here this side it will just be an x and that side you will have to apply a minus b whole square formula okay so this will be just an x this will be root over of 25 square plus root over of 16 whole square minus 2 into root over of 25 into 16 now it can be written as root 25 and root 26 uh, root 16 but you can write them inside the root as well okay both of them you can write inside the root 16 minus 40 that is 41 minus 40 so that is 1 so x is coming as 1 so which is my final answer my final answer is part a okay so now we move on to our next question okay so moving on to our next question now question number seven equally easy question let's begin with question number seven question number the seven says a to the power minus three dot b to the power half divided by a to the power minus four dot b we have to find which of the following is equal to this so let's first solve this actually that will be a to the power minus 3 plus 4 right because minus of minus look a to the power minus 3 minus minus 4 that's how it's going to be right and this is going to be b to the power half minus 1 so over here you have a and over here you have b to the power negative half so now b to the power negative half goes down right so that is a by root b so can you see the answer that is option number b okay so there you go we have done till question number seven let's move on to question number eight you have to find the value of m 
okay which of them are the value of m actually very simple question okay so m is given as a to the power negative 1 by 3 all right m is given as a to the power negative 1 by 3 that implies m is equal to 1 by a to the power 1 by 3 right so m is equal to 1 by root q okay there you go see that's the answer okay question number 8 is done moving on to question number 9 it says if a is greater than 0 which of the following is equivalent to the given expression so very very simple actually very 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 simple this question okay it's root over of 25 a square okay which is actually 5 a that's it that's the answer okay question number 9 is done as well question number 10 which of the following uh, uh, values of y is not the solution of the above equation so which is not the solution of the above equation let's check so over here actually you're getting y square root over is equal to y okay that means from here you will get y is equal to y okay so if you're putting 2 over here let's check if you're putting 2 you're putting 2 square root over then it's getting cancelled out it's coming 2 okay when you're putting 1 it's okay 1 also it's okay 0 but negative 2 you will not get negative 2 okay then you are going to get a negative value so this is the answer which will not be equal because negative 2 will not be equal because inside you cannot root over inside the root over you cannot have a negative value or even if you have a positive here over here right hand side will come a negative look at the left hand side you are going to get minus 2 square right so that's going to give you a 4 okay now you're going to get a 2 this is your LHS okay the left hand side you're doing now if you do the right hand side RHS if you put minus 2 then it's going to be minus y minus 2 sorry in y if you put minus 2 it's going to be minus 2 in the RHS y equal to minus 2 so y is equal to minus so you're going to get minus 2 over here minus 2 over here you're getting what y is 4 so y is coming not equal to y okay anyway students that's it for this class uh, we will be continuing uh, these videos in the later on classes uh, later on videos okay so you keep taking as much help as possible because all the help that you need will always be provided at sort of class thank you for watching students